Hi, welcome to the series Maths is Easy, Maths is Fun. In this video, we'll continue our discussion on relative speeds. I've given you some examples in terms of concepts, objects moving in the same direction, opposite direction. Let's look at a couple of applications of that. So I'll give you a simple problem. Tom and Jerry, as we know, they keep on running after each other. So Jerry, the small one, starts at 10 a.m and starts running at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour. At 11 a.m., Tom starts chasing Jerry at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. At what time will Tom overtake Jerry? So now, what are the pieces of information we have? Okay, Jerry starts at 10, has a speed of 20 kilometers per hour. Tom starts the chase at 11, so there's a lag of one hour and chases Jerry, which means he's moving in the same direction as Jerry and at a speed of 30 kilometers per hour. So Tom is faster, Jerry is slower. So what will happen to relative speed when two objects are moving in the same direction? Relative speed will be speed of faster object minus speed of slower object. So here, speed of Tom minus speed of Jerry. Speed of Tom, 30 kilometers per hour speed of Jerry, 20 kilometers per hour, 30 minus 20, 10, which means with each passing hour, Tom gains a distance of 10 kilometers over Jerry. That piece of information we know. So objects moving in the same direction, relative speed is 10 kilometers per hour. At what time will Tom overtake Jerry? Remember, Jerry started moving at 10 a.m. And Tom started moving at 11, which means in the first one hour, Jerry was moving at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour, which means Jerry covered a distance of 20 kilometers. This is the lead that Jerry has over Tom. Tom has to overtake this lead at a relative speed of 10 kilometers per hour. So we know speed is equal to distance upon time or distance is equal to speed into time, whichever way we take it. So we know the distance is the lead 20 kilometers to be covered at a relative speed of 10 kilometers per hour. So when we divide that, we get time, two hours. And the question says, at what time will Tom overtake Jerry? Most often than not, the common mistake that a lot of students make in the exam is they take the starting time as 10, add 2 and say 12. It says Tom overtaking Jerry, which means our frame of reference starts from 11. Tom started his chase at 30 kilometers per hour at 11 a.m. And he covers that lead distance of 20 kilometers at a relative speed of 10 kilometers per hour from 11 a.m. So two hours from 11 a.m. So Tom will overtake Jerry at 1 p.m. The same problem can perhaps be tweaked a bit and we say Tom starts from one end, Jerry starts from the other end and they are moving towards each other. Then what will happen to the relative speed? You add up the relative speeds. So these are a couple of variations in problems and the trick usually lies somewhere in terms of lead, in terms of time or in terms of conversion of kilometers, meters, time in terms of seconds and hours. Thank you.